Welcome back to Black Ops 3. Today I played Derison Track to see if this map is really as good as they say it is. Here we are in round one, so I grab a gobble gum. I get the free points from Quirk Revive. And you know how round one goes at this point. So on round two, I buy the RK5. But because the RK5 one burst the zombies on round two, I still knife the zombies. And now in round four, I open up the gates so I can get the dragon heads done early, but I still didn't finish them until like round 15. And now I'm looking for the first shield part. And as you see, I just found it right there, which is great. And as I'm doing my first dragon head, I get trapped in the corner and have to use my endpoint sight. I, I nearly died in round four. And then I finally finished my first dragon head. Oh yeah, and about three seconds later, I got a red screen on round four. And on round five, I get my first dog round, which I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot dogs were on this map and I turn on power here I am on round six and I get the second part to the shield and as I'm doing my second dragon head I get trapped in the corner and have to use my last in plain sight so I once again turned off autopilot mode and bought the HPK good job me but it didn't even matter because I still got a red screen and another thing I got round 100 on Kino recently for another video you'll see in the future but that's why I don't know why I'm playing this terrible and literally I got another one and had to open this gate. Oh my gosh, just training in an open air, you jackass. But uh, as you see in there, we only killed three zombies with it though. It was so good. Best death machine of my life. On round eight, I finished my second dragon head. Wait, what is that? And on round nine, I set up the anti-gravity, I guess you would call it. It's basically just Black Ops 3's multiplayer movement, but in zombies, which is pretty cool. And also, let me know if you want to see more videos of me grinding for Dark Matter, because I'd be happy to play more multiplayer. And as you probably already noticed, I got the last part of the shield. And I'm just randomly wandering around the place, and I find Jug. And on round nine, I finished the last dragon head. So now I'm able to grab the Wrath of the Ancients. And wow, how do I remember this? This. It's totally like I didn't search up a tutorial. No, no way. Now here I am doing the second step. You basically have to shoot these pillars and light them on fire. So I'm doing the first and the second one. And I teleport to the area with the rocket. And I shoot the last pillar and luckily hit it. So now I'm moving on to the next step. And I also get my first pains around round 12. And I don't know what just happened. He gave me a red screen. So I panicked and used my anywhere but here. But I do manage to kill him here. And I'm round 30 and I find more pack a punches. So I pack a punch my HBK and get dead wire on as well. In round 15, I finally finish this step where you basically have to run across the wall. Now I'm on the next step. You basically have to fill up this urn with souls. I totally did not watch a guy. Now you have to basically get a charge shot, but with the electricity on it, and you have to hit all the pillars again. And on round 18, I finally buy another perk. I end up buying Double Tap because I heard it was good on this map. And I also buy Quick Revive. Here I am on round 20. I'm still trying to hit the second pillar, which is really hard to hit. And I somehow hit it when I wasn't even trying. And I do the last pillar, and I hit it. So now I'm on the last step, which isn't really much of a step. You literally just have to hold the E right there, and then you get the lightning bow. But that's not the last step. We still have to fail this crate up with... With souls and then we get the lightning buff and i finally finished it on round 22 and oh my gosh it looks so good and i got a panzer that spawned in on round 23 and i oh, did you see how fast i died right there and then basically once you get the lightning boat you literally just sit right here and just Bam the crap out of the lightning boat. It's so stupid. And this strategy took me all the way to round 42 without even trying. And as you see, I have a red screen. I'm kind of stuck up here and now I'm dead.